Welcome back everybody. This is OG Gaming and today I have an unboxing and this is the new Steam Valve Steam controller. Um, I did make a video earlier and this was in the video and I did a little what my thoughts were on EA and all this microtransaction but now I'm going to do the unboxing on this new Steam controller that I got this Saturday. So let's get into it. There was some tape that I cut away from it already. So to make it a little easier to do it. So as you can see here, the first impressions of the new Steam Link controller. Oh, I must let you guys know that this is not a sponsored video. As you can see, sitting right here. the two double a batteries Duracell the dongle goes in there batteries triple a I mean double a batteries Duracell which is a good batteries and I'm gonna try take these batteries out real quick and we have an adapter here and we just basically got some literature and how it works and stuff like that stuff how we're not going to use and this little con this contraption here is instead of getting your dongle and putting it in on your pc you can pretty much basically hook it up to here like so and then you can go ahead and hook this up and it's an extension instead of just putting the dongle I think this looks looks pretty good on top of your PC rather than have an adapter but it's there if you want to have that but let's get to the meat and the potato of this video here and this is the new Steam Link controller and I watched a lot of videos and they were saying how cheaply it felt and this and that. But this feels just like, like an Xbox 360 co uh, controller. Um, there is a little different curve to the handles here. Usually we're used to have them going down slightly. But you can see these kind of go up slightly. And as you get it, there's a little notch there. And that releases. You slide it over pops out you put the batteries in pretty much simple stuff as you can see there's a little notch there. there's a little button there so the batteries are very hard to get in and get out but if you just press that button like you heard it and the batteries come right out pretty simple so I'm going to go ahead and put the batteries in. Where's the other battery? And uh, just give me a second, folks. Put the batteries in there. And put the plastic cap. Put the cover back in. And voila. It's in. Now, I have not used this yet and so i'm gonna go ahead and get familiar with it and then i'm gonna do another another video on on my thoughts and how this thing performs if this is supposed to eliminate just a second okay i'm back now this is what i was using before this was the wireless keyboard it's not very expensive i got the keyboard and the mouse at Walmart for $20. Can't beat it. It serves the purpose. Um, then I end up getting the Steam Link controller. So this is supposed to replica that, the keyboard and mouse. So like I said, I'm going to make another video of this, how, how it handles and my thoughts of it. It feels good. The, these little buttons here why be they they are much smaller than your xbox controller buttons yeah, as you can see here look at the size of those 
much, 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 much bigger. So, <coughs> if you got big old hands, my hands are not, my hands are like, well, they're, they're not small, but they're also not big either. They're like in the middle. But it feels good. I like the way the clicking sounds. Now, I don't know. I know in 2015 they actually introduced this and it came out and don't know how that one particularly feels compared to this one. This one feels not bad. It feels really good. Of course, it's all plastic, but all controllers are. All controllers are. This is supposed to replica the, the, the mouse and then you get the pad here. I know that you're going to have to put it in when you get the Steam Link controller, that little dongle is going to have to go in onto your PC, and this is the only thing that hooks up to your PC. When you get, when you get, I'm sorry about this, folks. If you get this, the Steam Link like so. Now I have this already hooked up, but when you get the Steam Link, the only thing, all this stuff in the box, gets connected to your TV. Nothing else. And then when you get the Steam Link controller, the dongle is the only thing that gets connected to your PC. And that's it. And then once you get your controller, there's a few updates that's going to have to be performed before you can actually start to use it. And so I noticed there's like little buttons in the bottom. I really don't know what those are for, but I believe that... Um, once I put everything in and get going with it and do the updates and then pay, play a couple of games and we'll see where it stands because I did a lot of reading on this and a lot of people prefer this over their Xbox controllers. Well, we'll have to see because I know you can map it out as your Xbox controller. You can map it out to your PS4 controller and stuff like that. So uh, I just got to get into it and start playing with it. And so... Right now, they're on sale at Steam for like 30 bucks. So, I would say go out and get yourself one and let yourself be the judge. Like I said, I've been watching a lot of videos on this. And so now I have it. It came today, being Saturday and all that. And uh, new Steam Link controller. Once again, this is not a sponsored video. I bought this with my own money, along with the Steam Link. And so, I'm pretty happy I got the Steam Link. I didn't think I was going to like it, but... It's not bad at all. It really isn't. Today I was playing on it before I got the controller. And I had a little laggy issue, which I don't understand because I'm hardwire. My PC is hardwire. The Steam Link is hardwire. I got a my my setup in the front room, like the I have a dual um, router and so there's two built into one. And I don't know if that's good or not, but that's the way Time Warner had it set up. So with that being said, folks, this is OG Gaming. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another video of my thoughts on this new Steam Link controller. Until next time, later guys, and have a good day. Or a good evening, rather.